Where did you go to middle school? I went to Rosary for middle school. Uh, what sports do you play in high school? I play volleyball, soccer, and I'm on the bowling team. Uh, favorite memory about high school? My favorite memory of high school is having the opportunity to go to Mass with the whole student body and we're all growing our spirituality together. Um, okay. Favorite sports moment in high school? My favorite sports moment in high school is when we won the state championship for volleyball in the year 2013. It was a moment when all of our hard work and dedication paid off. I play defensive specialist and libero. How long have you played volleyball? I've played volleyball since I was in the fourth grade, so it's been about eight years. Um, what profession do you plan on entering after college? Um, after college, I plan on attending medical school and becoming a pediatrician. Okay, we're here with Coach Jekyll for this week's sports highlight. So Coach Jekyll, where were you born and where did you grow up? I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, and when I was in the first grade, we moved to Mustang, Oklahoma, and that's where I grew up. And where did you go to high school? Went to Mustang High School, um, played for the Mustang Broncos. Uh, where did you go to college and what sports did you play and what was your degree? I went to uh, UCO, home of the Broncos, and I uh, got a degree in public relations, mass communication with a minor in journalism. Coach, how long have you been coaching? I've been coaching for about 10 years. I started in junior high with my younger kids and at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. I started um, my high school career with freshmen here at Mount St. Mary's, and I've been in my third season as varsity head coach. Um, what is the greatest triumph you've had as a coach? I think the um, best triumph that we've had so far was winning state in 2013. Uh, the girls, to see the excitement on their face, and I think that's the funnest part of, about coaching is seeing kids develop into great, not only just great athletes, but great students and watch them grow through the years. And what is your favorite coaching memory, would you say? I would have to say my favorite coaching memory is watching Emily Mikelak get excited on the court. She is just fun to watch. Okay, so today's spotlight is with Joe Jekyll, uh, who has been a proud Mount St. Mary supporter for about seven years, probably. That's about uh, right. Considering he's had two daughters graduate from this school, one daughter who is a freshman uh, at Mount St. Mary Catholic High School. But Joe, uh, thanks for being with us today, and you are the spotlight parent. For week two. Joe, you know, um, you are a fixture at every athletic event almost that we have around here. And uh, what is it about uh, Mount St. Mary's sports, Mount St. Mary athletics that draws you, no matter what time of day or night, and no matter home or away, that we can always see you in the stands? What the is it? You know, the family environment that uh, we have here at Mount St. Mary's is really, uh, I don't think you can find it anywhere else. And that was the one thing that we really found seven years ago about this campus, is the, uh, the way in which people treat each other, the students, the, the faculty, the families, it's, it's very exciting. And it makes you want to be part of, of what's going on. So just the excitement. And Mary and I have always been involved with our kids' uh, schools, with whatever they've been doing, we've been involved and just tried to do uh, behind the scenes as much as we could do to make it a successful and uh, experience for them. Um, very good, Joe. You know, um, uh, being married to a coach is uh, sometimes a tough job. <laughs> and so, uh, so, of course, you're married uh, to a state championship coach uh, who, who our school loves, Mary, Coach Mary Jekyll. But, um, uh, and then you, of course, have three kids. Um, as you've watched your kids grow and as you've watched our school grow, what are the mo more memorable uh, events that have taken place in the, the school life uh, as it pertains to uh, your wife and your kids? Yeah, there's, you know, that's, that's a great question because there really have been a lot of highlights that we've experienced with our own kids, but I would have to say the best moments for me have been watching these kids come in as freshmen and a lot of the volleyball girls and you see them come in you never know which direction they're going to go but it sure seems like the vast majority of the girls that are involved in the volleyball program really end up being success successful doing quite well in volleyball their grades going on and doing great things and just just watching them mature, develop, because like with all of us, I mean, when I was in ninth grade, 
I, I really, uh, I hate to even think back then to how, how much I needed to develop over my high school career. So watching, watching my, my kiddos, friends, and Mary's team and, and their players, the way in which they develop, we all fall, we all stumble, uh, but the way they get back up, and I think a big reason why they do that is I think they are truly uh, great kids that come to this school, and uh, I think the coach gets the, the very most out of them, and then she holds them accountable, they know that, uh, but she loves them, and uh, it just, it's, a great, it's a great situation. Uh, very good, Joe. You know, uh, as you think back to seven, six, seven years ago, when you guys very first came, you and Mary and, and uh, Caitlin, and, and now think back, fast forward to a couple Friday nights ago out here on that, uh, on that football field. You know, if you wow. could just kind of paint a little contrast between then and now as it goes to our kids, our staff, and our school. Totally amazing. And I, and I talk with people about this quite a bit because if, if you don't have a perspective on where we've come from, and even myself coming six years ago, whereas there were people who had come in in 2003 when there was so much done between 2003 and 2009, it's amazing each and every year how much is being done at this school and, and the progress that we're making and, and the fact that the, the, the hallways are, are full with, you know, with kids. It's, it's, it's just impressive. It, it, it's a neat, neat uh, thing to be part of and now anticipating the new commons and cafeteria area and all the great things. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool to be part of a school, of a family, that is that is just really doing great things and just uh, and it's fun going out there on Friday night seeing people all the students are out there having fun on the hill and uh, there's not a better experience it's, and, it's and an exciting time to be a, a Mount St. Mary booster and we meet once a month so it's it's really not a uh, a huge obligation but for those who do come it, it is somewhat of a sacrifice and we're always thrilled to see new people come out to Mount St. Mary boosters well um, very good, Joe. That's all we had is this interview. So congratulations okay, on coach. being the uh, Rocket Parent uh, Spotlight of the Week. And thank you very much for all you do for our kids, our school, um, and our community. Well, thank you. And thank you for everything you did. You're so welcome.